Yo, this is a movie discussion and not a movie review. So there are lots and lots of spoilers. So I was encouraged, gently encouraged, to watch um, The Human Centipede, which came out in 2009. Um, I had never seen it, though. And judging by the fucking movie poster, the cover or whatever, I knew what I was getting myself into. Uh, the guy who wrote and directed this, his name is Tom Six. And I would just like for some authorities to just check out his basement. Um, I know you can get a warrant if you watch this movie. Uh, just check, peek in. Um, don't accept any beverages or anything. You just got to trust me on this one. Something ain't right with this dude. Um, so a quick synopsis. This uh, deranged ex-surgeon uh, named Dr. Heiter, Dr. Heiter. Um, I don't know what the fuck his name is. I'm going to just call him Dr. Fuck Shit for obvious reasons. And he decides to combine three people into one centipede person, a human centipede. And that's all the explaining that's required. Before he did the operation on them, he was like explaining to them. He had this whole ass PowerPoint presentation explaining to them like, I'm going to cut some V-shaped incisions below the skin and the grafts and I will lift some tissue and attach your ligamentum patellae to your uh, medulla oblongata. And I'm pretty sure all they heard was, I'm a attach your mouth to they ass like I said fuck shit so I'm um sorry I'm gonna do this a little differently I'm just gonna walk through what uh, what the fuck I just saw so um backing up here at the very beginning you see Dr. Fuck shit and he's he's in a car on the side of the road and he's looking at a picture of what turns out to be his first experiment in which he connected three dogs so I didn't realize for some reason that they were already connected I thought you know Maybe this was just his inspiration. Like, I thought they were just licking each other's asses because that's what dogs do. You know, I thought that, you know, it just set off a light bulb for him because he's fucking crazy. Um, but no, that was round one. Um, you know, he had accomplished his first goal. So naturally, he needed to move on to bigger things. And he goes and uh, shoots a truck driver, I guess. And, and it cuts to uh, Jenny and Lindsay. So um, Jenny and Lindsay, these two chicks, they get lost in the woods after they get a flat tire because... Yeah, walk through the fucking woods in the dark and not on the road, but whatever. So they see Dr. Fuck Shit's house and he comes to the door looking like a straight creeper talking about, are you alone? Um, this is when you say, you know what, sir? Never mind. And just take your chances in the fucking woods. But of course, you know, they're all like, yeah, we're alone. And they end up, this dude was just looking for two more victims to be the middle and ass end of his human centipede. And these two just delivered their goddamn selves. He didn't even have to go out and catch y'all. They just showed up like a fucking Amazon Prime package. I know he couldn't believe it. Good thing it was two white girls because me and my friends, who never would have been there in the first place, we got too much ass. He would have had to cut off our whole ass I saw when he, he was doing the operation, he flipped the girl over and he was cutting her booty um, and it looked like somebody's back, but it was her booty. Um, you can't put my friend's face in my ass because my ass will consume her face and all her air. So, you know, that just would have been too much work having to cut the extra ass off. So he got the right ones, you know, two long backs. So Lindsay was like, oh, fuck that shit. And she got away. Okay, kind of. Um... No, she hid in the house for a minute, and he chased her around, and somehow she got into the pool. <laughs> and for a minute, she actually appeared to have a chance. But what does she do? She goes back and tries to save her friend. She really tried to drag a whole unconscious bitch. If you don't get the fuck out of there, how the fuck? I would have been like, Keisha, girl, um, I'm going to send somebody to get you. I would have been at the police station like, y'all got to go and get my motherfucking friend. She couldn't walk. I had to get the fuck up out of there. So, uh, come on, I, how are you going to escape with, with somebody you got to drag? That I was highly annoyed by that shit, but whatever. Um, so, Dr. Fuck shit, he told Lindsay, you know, after he, once he caught her, he's like, okay, so since you want to run away, you can be the middle. And at first I was like, damn, that's fucked up. But then I thought about it, you know, is that supposed to be the punishment? Like, are we sure the middle is the worst position in this centipede? I mean, the middle has to eat shit. And yes, that sounds terrible, but the end has to eat double shit. That's shit that got shit back out. That has to be worse. That's like a double, it's twice the shit. It's shittier shit. Anything that went in is worse off when it comes out. And on top of that, how do you eat shit without throwing up? She should have actually choked to death on her own vomit, but that's just me doing too much. I digress. So 
After the operation, he's like, oh, I know you're in pain. The suffering will end soon. Excuse me, says the lunatic whose mouth is not surgically attached to somebody's asshole. No, sir. Um, this is pretty much a lifetime of suffering. So then he tries to treat them like a fucking dog. Dude, you had your fucking centipede, dog. Why are you trying to make the humans do dog activities and shit? So the front dude, you know, he fights back a little bit. And then he gets kicked in the face. And, you know, he like, all right. And he chills the fuck out for a minute. Um, but the back chick is uh, infected. And uh, Dr. Fuck shit starts to prepare them for another operation. Because he's got to remove her infected ass. Uh, and just so happens, um, the police show up. And they're looking for missing people. And he offers them some water. And they take it. Would y'all thirsty ass and stop taking beverages from suspicious ass? You really there looking for missing people and you're going to let him give you some water. He got the date rape drug in his kitchen cabinet. So, you know, of course he was like, you know, no, nah, y'all get the fuck out of here. So <laughs> they left and um, they go get a search warrant. So the human centipede, well, the Japanese guy, um, he's in the front and he gets a hold of a scalpel, okay? And he stabs the, he stabs the shit out of Dr. Fuck shit in his foot and his leg and, um, you know, then he breaks the first rule of being in such a position when you finally have the upper hand against your enemy, which is kill him. Kill him dead. I'd have stabbed him 732 more times in his throat. But no, they try to escape. And, of course, Dr. Uh, fuck shit catches him. And then the Japanese guy starts confessing how he's a poor excuse of a man. Ain't nobody got time for your fucking testimony. And then he slits his own throat. Bitch. Really? You just, thanks. Now we're all dead. And the cops come back, and they end up dead. It doesn't even matter how. Um, Dr. Fuck shit is dead. Uh, Jenny, the end of the centipede, is dead. Every goddamn body is dead. Um, nobody left but Lindsay. And that's how it is. Lindsay just looking at herself in, in the mirror like, this is some fuck shit. Luckily, I believe that some um, cops will eventually come looking for the other two cops. So um, Lindsay, Lindsay will be saved. Um, traumatized. She won't be tossing no salads no time soon if that was her thing. I don't judge anymore. Um, she'll, she'll be okay and she'll never travel abroad again. That's, that's how I wrapped it up. So overall, what did I think about this movie? Um, I watched the last half of it with my hand covering my mouth, just absolutely disgusted. But for what it was, uh, it, you know, it wasn't that bad. <laughs> It's, I, I don't want to rate it because this is just me talking shit, you know. It is what it is. If, if you want to see some fuck shit, look no further. It's not like I went into this with high expectations of cinematic excellence and medical accuracy, you know. It's just some fuck shit. So, um, you know, go ahead and watch it. Uh, let, leave a message. Let me know how you were mentally affected by this movie. And uh, follow me on Twitter at MovieBuffChick1. Uh, like, subscribe, hit me up.